Good afternoon to you. Mark Suttoth, HurricaneTrack.com, here with a quick hurricane outlook and discussion. It'll be fast today because there's not that much to talk about, honestly. But here it is for Saturday, July 28th, 2018. Of course, the Atlantic is quiet, nothing over the next several days. Looking in the eastern Pacific, the remnants of Gilma out here, tropical depression moving westward, and it'll eventually die out, as you can see, expected to become post-tropical and a remnant low before too long. And then we have a system here farther to the east, 30% chance of development, and this is what it looks like on the satellite picture, and a little bit better organized than we have seen any area over this region over the last several weeks, that's for sure. Uh, and if we look at the five-day graphical version, you can see that's the track this should take if it were to develop. But right now, only a 30% chance. It's interesting how feeble all of the attempts are at tropical cyclones over the entire globe. If we look here at James Reynolds, this is the typhoon uh, Zhongdari in Japan, made landfall around 1 o'clock local time in Japan. And you can see the track of that up here. This is the radar signature that James posted earlier. Pretty uh, messed up looking eye and eye wall. Not the most healthy of systems, which is certainly great news, obviously, for Japan. But it just goes to show you, uh, you know, some of the modeling was indicating that this would become pretty strong, and it never did. And uh, But it will bring a lot of rainfall to this area as it moves in uh, over the next several hours and through the rest of the day there uh, in Japan, which is obviously around the other part of the globe from where I am here in Wilmington, North Carolina. And there's a picture of a tired typhoon chaser, James Reynolds, uh, Earth Uncut TV on Twitter if you want to follow what he does, which is honestly very remarkable work. All right, so I wanted to show you a graphical representation of what the Atlantic is going through right now. This is the vertical wind shear, and you need to have light wind shear in the atmosphere for a system to develop. And this is your norm or your mean through here, the normal you know, graph, the plot over time. These are your months down here at the bottom. And today, we are just slightly below. So in the wind shear department, put a big old check mark. That's favorable for development in the tropical Atlantic. All right, what about instability? And another way to look at this is how dry is the atmosphere? Well, here is your average or your mean right here. And you can see that normally the instability increases <clears throat> naturally as we go through time. With a peak here uh, in the fall, believe it or not, kind of a lag. But nevertheless, it doesn't matter because this is where we are today. And the vertical instability or the ability of the atmosphere to produce thunderstorms is another way to look at it. Convection, not there. So in this case, we've got to put an X. This is not favorable for development, uh, not by a long shot. And the sea level pressure, you know, you have to have lower pressures to get a system to develop. And that's well above the long-term average right here. And, you know, this is where we had barrel form for what it's worth where pressures dipped a little bit below the long-term average. And so this, too, uh, garners a big old red X, not favorable for development. And if we look at the five days here, let's start this over, uh, really nothing happening over the next 120 hours. You get these little impulses that will come off Africa, and then they just dry out across the main development region, and nothing's going to happen when you see that, when you see nothing. Uh, and, you know, I think this is the way it's going to be for the next week to 10 days, to be quite honest with you. And, you know, I could just say, hey, I'm going to go on vacation, as if I had the money for that. But uh, instead of that, I will take tomorrow off. I think that's a good idea. It's Sunday. Who needs to work on Sunday, right? Um, there's just not a lot happening, and I don't see the pattern changing over the next week to 10 days. And so tomorrow, yeah, I'll take the day off. Maybe go to the beach with the kids or something and just do some fun stuff. Been working on equipment. It's all pretty much ready to go. Uh, and I've seen some indications that even through August, things are going to be fairly quiet as well. But don't be fooled by that. I'll just say that, you know, you can get all the way through August without much activity. And then September, 
in the first two weeks of October could be gangbusters, you know, or not. Maybe this is how the season will turn out. But I'm just, you know, not seeing any indications of development <clears throat> any time down the road. And obviously for coastal impacts all across from Atlantic Canada through the southeast, the Caribbean, all the islands down here, and even our good friends in the Cabo Verde Islands. We used to call it the Cape Verde Islands. Obviously, this is great news for you, and but it's very curious as to why this is happening globally. We're not seeing massive typhoons in the West Pack and intense hurricanes in the Central and Eastern Pacific robbing all the global heat balance energy and creating a bunch of upward motion over there with a big El Nino. You know what I mean? It's like, what's going on? So maybe we can work on trying to figure that out while we're passing time. So Monday, we'll look at the Southern Oscillation Index. I'm starting to think that there's not going to be an El Nino, uh, and I never did. You know, I was kind of following along, and we've talked about that. So we'll look at that. We'll look at the latest ENSO updates and uh, a peek into the future, you know, what could, ha what could happen in September. And we'll take a look at climatology and, you know, just kind of start the week off, the work week anyway. Um, I think the, re the week proper starts on Sunday, but I digress. So we'll cover all that on Monday. So everybody take tomorrow off. Don't look at the tropics. There's nothing to look at. So step away from the obsession a little bit. Um, you, you figure by September something's going to happen. And I know that's a long time to wait, but, hey, it's, again, really good for areas recovering from the hurricanes of last year. Uh, to say the least. So positive, positive, positive. Because you know what? When it does get negative and things happen, it, it's horrible sometimes. So let's enjoy it while it's quiet. Have a good rest of your Saturday. I appreciate you tuning in as always, even when there's not much to talk about, because sooner or later there will be, and we'll all be here. All right? Mark's out of HurricaneTrack.com. We'll chat again on Monday.